Hi guys, in this reading vlog I'm gonna be reading the lowest rated book on my TBR. Yep. <laughs> to be a reading vlog of my experience reading the lowest rated book on my TBR. I absolutely don't know what I'm gonna think of it. So the book that I'm gonna be reading only has a rating of 3.5 on Goodreads, which doesn't sound very low. You know, if I give a book three and a half point stars as a rating, that's pretty good. But for Goodreads, that's pretty low, especially for a YA book, because usually those ratings lie a lot higher. So 3.5 is the lowest I've ever seen on my TBR. And the book that I'm talking about is The Star Touched Queen by Roshani Chokshi. I have yet to see anyone on booktube actually enjoying this book. All I've seen is kind of negative reviews or DNFs. Um, so you may ask, Leonie, what the heck did you pick this book up if it's so not well received? The thing is, one of Shokshi's other books, The Gilded Wolves, was one of my favorites of last year, even though this one also got pretty bad reviews. Not as bad as this one, but still wasn't very well received and I ended up loving it. So I still wanted to try out other books by the same author. Now the reason I did pick up this book, even though it has low ratings, is because a few of the reviewers whose opinions I really trust really enjoyed this book and I thought if they really liked it then I'm probably gonna like it as well and that turned out to be true. But those same reviewers did not really enjoy the Star Touch Queen so I really don't know if I'm gonna enjoy it or not like it honestly could go either way so I am extremely curious to see what I think about it whether I'm gonna hate it whether I'm gonna DNF it like a lot of people or whether maybe this is gonna be like one of my many unpopular opinions where I actually kind of like a book that other people don't <laughs> So I actually started reading this book when I got it in the mail in my last vlog because I was really excited but I barely read anything that day and then I got sick and I didn't really read anything else. So the rest of the book I'm going to be reading in this vlog. Okay, update time. This month I'm also taking part in the Owls for the Magical Readathon. So I'm also reading this book for that readathon and I chose it for the prompt read the majority of a book during the night. So I'm only allowed to read the majority of this book in the night time. Therefore, I already started reading it yesterday evening so I could give you an update right now. Look at me, thinking ahead. <laughs> this is a story of Maya, a princess whose horoscope is cursed. It is said that everyone she marries will die. So. <laughs> Naturally, no one really wants to marry her, which causes all sorts of problem in the realm. But then she ends up marrying the leader of this kind of magical realm, is all I can say. <laughs> and of course, they're gonna fall in love. And one of the things that I heard a lot of people complain about with this book is the writing style. Most people DNF'd it because they just hated it so much <laughs> that it was way too weird and whimsical and purple prosery. And also a lot of people have been complaining about the insta love so i put on a jumper and i just filmed my bookshelf tour it's taking a long time to edit but i had a lot of fun making like little animations of stuff and now i'm just gonna continue with my very boring life and wait until it's dark <laughs> so i can finally start reading the star touched queen <laughs> this evening is going to be a live show with Sabine because Sabine from Sabine's book note it's her birthday <laughs> so I'm going to be on a live show with her and we're going to be talking about our favorite underrated books and I hope in the future maybe I could be talking about the Star Touch Queen as one of my underrated faves um, but it depends on whether I'm going to enjoy this one or not but I'm definitely going to be talking about the Nightingale as my underrated favorite fairy tale which means I can finally start reading this bad boy. And I thought it would be fun to let you guys know that I am, for the first time in my life, tabbing my books. I'm using these sticky tabs. This is the only things that I have left, the yellow and 
orange are definitely at the end of their life, so I basically only have green and blue to my availability. But it's actually working quite well. I'm just using green for positive and blue for negative. I'm really excited to have a book that's full of sticky tabs. And I think it's going to be interesting to kind of see the balance between the blue, the negative, and the green, the positive tabs. The cover of this book really fits the mood lighting that is Twilight right now. <laughs> Updates on what I read yesterday evening now that it's light outside and it's actually nice to fill I don't read large bits at a time because I just go to bed way too late otherwise um, And then I only have like half an hour to read I'm doing great with the tabbing. I'm having a lot of fun So my prediction for this book with the writing style that everyone is kind of having problems with I thought either I'm really not gonna enjoy it and think it's way too convoluted or I'm gonna find it very beautiful and worth the struggle but so far neither of those things are true I find it quite readable actually I don't really know what that says about me maybe I'm just like missing a lot of things here this book is mostly very heavy on the imagery there are long descriptions of magical trees and portal mirrors and glass gardens and I love that I am a little over a hundred pages in right now and I personally really love reading just descriptions of magical whimsical things but then sometimes there are these descriptions that I'm like what are you doing for example here our main character Maya is describing her love interest eyes and she says I see only night and smoke dreams and glass embers and wings and that just makes me think like well now you're just listing pretty words as you can see the majority of the tabs are green <laughs> I like the main character because I feel like I can relate to her. She likes learning and she prefers to just be kind of a scribe-like person instead of becoming a queen. And I thought that was cute. And I was like, yeah girl, I like that. I do have to say I'm 100 pages in and I don't really understand where the story is going. 100 pages, that's a third of the way into the story and so far there's not really any plots happening. <laughs> Another thing that a lot of people didn't like about this book is the instant love. And I gotta say so far, I don't think it's considered insta love. It's very clear that the love interest is just a kind of person that has decided for himself, whoever I marry, I'm gonna love her and I'm gonna be there for her. But it feels more like a conscious decision that he has made instead of the whole like, oh my gosh, I'm just like suddenly falling in love with you at first sight kind of thing. So I don't think this qualifies as insta love. Guess who's gonna watch Star Wars instead of reading? Me. <laughs> still have this and I still use it because it's great. So <laughs> I'm gonna have a Star Wars party on my own. In my defense, I'm still becoming an astronomer for the magical readathon, so I gotta do my research on the other planets, on the stars, by watching Star Wars. And then after that, I'll do my research by reading The Star Touch Queen. I'm just having a star-filled night, okay? It's just, it's all, it's all part of the plan here. <laughs> sleeves. <laughs> Where's my pirate ship, Jack Sparrow? Remember when I said that I thought this book really didn't have insta-love and I didn't understand what everyone was talking about? Yeah, yeah there's definitely insta-love. Yep, it's uh, yeah. 
That was a shame. Okay, but here's the thing. I am at page 170 right now, and this book has 336 pages. What that means, I've decided for myself, that I've already read the majority of the book during the evening, so I can now read this book during the day as much as I want. It doesn't matter, because I've already read the majority during the evening, so that means it already counts for the prompt of read a book, mostly when it's dark outside. Now the reason that I'm looking for this loophole is because I just want to be able to read this book during the day instead of constantly having to wait until it's evening because here's the thing, I'm enjoying the heck out of this book. I just want to keep reading. I, I, I like, I like it. I kind of like it. I just... I'm only halfway in. Maybe things are going to change. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. This book is really like a dark ride in a theme park like Disneyland. Dark rides are those rides, they're not roller coasters, but you're just in a cart that just drives through different chambers and in every chamber you see something nice. Like for example, in Disneyland you have Peter Pan's Flight, the famous dark ride where you fly over London and through chambers and along the fairies and along the pirates and the crocodiles, things like that. You know what I'm talking about? Rides like that that just kind of take you on a journey along all sorts of pretty things and you're just looking around like, ooh, pretty, ooh, pretty, ooh, pretty things. That's what this book feels like. I understand that if you're looking for a lot of plots and world building, this book is going to disappoint you, but I feel like the purpose of this book is different, that it's really just trying to take you on that magical journey. And dark rides are always my favorite things in amusement parks, and this book just reminds me of that experience. So I'm gonna continue reading this during the day so I can get through it a lot faster. But now it's actually like half past two and in half an hour my Etsy store is opening. I'm really excited about that. So that's what I'm gonna be working on first and then I'm gonna be reading. <laughs> Joke's on me, because I spend the rest of the afternoon working on my Etsy shop and catching up on YouTube and Booktube. Uh, so now it's already getting dark and I haven't read anything of this. Uh, my battery died, but what I was saying, I just found out that the, uh, it's all sold out. That's what, what I'm trying to say here. I'm just, I, did, I didn't think it would go, uh, I didn't think it would go this fast. Everything's sold out, so tomorrow's gonna be a busy day and I'm just gonna do some prep work and do sending out all the orders and then I'm just gonna breathe, take a seat and read a little bit in the Star Touch Queen. What I'm trying to say is I didn't read during the day. Yeah, that was my update, okay. <laughs> It's definitely picking up right now. I'm nearing the end right now and the story has taken a turn into becoming more of like an adventure story. Although I love adventure storylines, it is becoming a little more clear that there is less world building. <laughs> you know, it was okay when it was all just kind of like a ride along mesmerizing things, but now that it's becoming more of an adventure story, I am kind of starting to notice the lack of world building. So yeah, I think I'm going to finish this one tonight. I only have about 70 pages left and I finished it. Oh my gosh. Finally finished the book because I haven't finished the book in like, what, two weeks? <laughs> who said they were definitely going to finish the book yesterday and then ended up finishing it late in today. <laughs> it's me. But I finally finished it. Um, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first two thirds of the book I tabbed a lot, mostly green, which is positive. And then the last third of the book, I just didn't tab anything. I didn't have anything negative to say. 
but I also just genuinely didn't care. <laughs> it's just in the last 100 pages, suddenly there was plots and there were so many things happening that I was like, what the heck's going on? I just want to go back to reading about the pretty things. And in those last 100 pages where there was suddenly a lot of like plots and adventure going on, it really showed just the lack of development in world building and villains and stuff. And it just felt very rushed. And I honestly couldn't really get myself to care. So the first two thirds of this book, I really really loved. It was just one of those stories that takes you on a mesmerizing journey. I feel like I've said that like 10 times in this video <laughs> right now, but I really liked the first two thirds and then the last third was just like, what is this? Is this like a completely different book? What's going on? <laughs> so because the first like half the book really felt like four star and then it kind of went downhill to two star, I'm gonna end up giving it three stars, which I feel is kind of like an anticlimactic rating because I felt like either I'm really gonna love it or I'm really gonna dislike it like all the other people. My final conclusion is this is the lowest rated book on my TBR. I don't think it's the worst book I've ever read by far. I actually really enjoyed it, I had a good time, but I didn't think it was amazing. I don't love it, especially because the last 100 pages... Especially because the last 100 pages felt very rushed. I'm really curious to see what you guys thought of this book. <laughs> that marks the end of this reading vlog. This one was a little bit different than the other ones. I didn't really focus on kind of like lifestyle and montages and stuff, but I focused more on my experience reading this book. And I did that because with my weekly vlogging for the owls, I really feel like every single one of my vlogs is kind of becoming the same, especially now with social distancing. I'm just not doing a lot of interesting things. But we still have two weeks ahead of us, so please let me know what you guys would like to see me do in my vlogs because I noticed that I just feel like I'm just repeating myself and I'm not really enjoying the vlogs that I'm making. I really like this one because I did something different. So please let me know if you have other ideas for what I could do. Because there's a reason I don't weekly vlog. I always choose like an interesting week. <laughs> And then I don't do it too often because otherwise you can see how boring my life is. That is the end of this week's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon with another video. When, when do I have any interesting videos? Yes, like next week is going to be my Hunger Games reading vlog, which I'm like super excited about. Uh, so look out for that one and I will see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>